So here are all of our supplies. And a lot of times when I go live and I share a project, um, the packet always looks like there's that we're not really making anything because the slot the supplies are so minimal. Uh, today, <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of stuff in here. So. Blushing bride four and a quarter by eight and three eighths. A piece of Blushing Bride Designer Series paper that's in our Subtles pack. You can use any pattern that you would like. And then we have Real Red that is three by four and seven eighths, and then a scrap, okay? Then we have the Snail Mail Designer Series paper, and this measures two and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then we have some Whisper White for stamping and die cutting, and then another Whisper White. Wait, that's not Whisper White, it's Basic White. It'll take me a while to get used to that term. Uh, and it measures a half an inch by three inches, okay? Okay, now, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do our stamping. So, good morning to those of you that are just now arriving. We're using two stamp sets, Lots of Heart, and Snailed It. So we're using the snail here, and then we're using the greeting from here, okay? Real red ink. And now we're gonna stamp the greeting. We'll set that aside to dry. Close this up, we're done with the real red. And then now we're gonna take the snail and we're gonna stamp her with memento ink. Okay, we're gonna color. Um, so this was the bag we made on Monday, but we're coloring it different. So I'm just using Flirty Flamingo and Real Red, kind of a monochromatic look again, which I love. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the light Flirty Flamingo. Now that I'm in her body area, I can use the brush tip. Have y'all noticed that the brush end of our markers is a little bit of a different color? I don't know why, but they are. The brush tip to me looks a little more coral, coral and the fine tip looks a little bit more pink. Okay, now. I posted three videos yesterday because uh, remember I said I wasn't able to post the videos on Monday because Brooke was uh, doing a Zoom orientation online all day and I didn't want to tie up the internet. So yesterday I shared all three posts because a couple of them should have been on Monday. Okay. I have to go slow with this red. Now, I'm coloring the shell, I guess you call this, with the same color as the body. For those of you that don't like the snail, you can use the Darling Donkeys and I'll show you later another sample of the same card using that.
And now the real red again. We're almost done coloring. So uh, while, when I call the bingo names, I tell a joke, a short, quick joke in between, or while after I post the number, I then tell a joke. So if you've got any short, quick jokes, uh, send them to my help desk at chickenscratch.com. I'm collecting those now. Um, yeah, that was so much fun last time. I won't wait as long this time, though, in between calling them. Okay, so there's our coloring. Now, we're going to get the uh, die-cut machine out, and we're going to cut her out. We're going to cut some hearts out using this. We're going to cut out a whisper white layer using this. And like I said, we're going to cut her out. We're using the big one today, because we're, yeah. You'll see why. Whew. Let me go over that for everybody else. So it's a one, a two, a five, and then um, a three. There we go. Okay, there she is. Now before I go any further, I'm gonna put my die back on the sheet because I do not want to lose my dies today. That's the kind of day I'm having. Now I'm gonna take the real red. See, it says scraps, so I'm gonna use and hopefully I can use this one on this. Okay, now, I need to use this again with the designer series paper. Um, okay. He wants to know if I need help. I can go live too. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you ain't right. Okay, so I'm just peeling this off because I'm going to use some of these hearts. Okay. Now we're going to do this. Let's see. Make sure my words are right side up. Now this one I don't want to rip because I'm using this piece on my card, okay? So I have to be gentle in removing this and since the bottom is not as important as the top, I'm going to start down here. Cuz the bottom is going to get kind of covered up. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the camera and not rip this layer. Okay, look how pretty that is. One more piece and then we're done cutting. So, the heart. Oh, I hit the camera. This is from the uh, 
mini hearts dies it coordinates with that stamp set that i showed you a couple minutes ago um yes our stamp and blend markers are alcohol markers yep now we're gonna score this okay three eighths one and three eighths two and seven eighths and three and seven eighths so that's how it looks okay the real red layer we're going to score at three eighths and one and three eighths <laughs> yes that was strange the birds and david both they all want to be live they all want to be a part of it I have to say that this whole everybody being in the house all the time, it is very difficult. I know I've, I've seen some people that have kids and they say it's difficult. I have grown adults, it's also difficult. <laughs> it's equally as difficult. Sometimes I say even more so. You can't always convince them of that, but okay, so. Here's how it looks right now. So we're gonna take this piece here and we're going to attach it. So remember earlier when I said, if you have those adhesive sheets, use that on this and it will make your life so much easier. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way and I'm gonna take my silicone craft sheet and I'm going to add some liquid glue. You don't have to put glue everywhere because there's gonna be other layers on top. Um, and if you have the old Zyron, which is what I have used for umpteen years, I still have mine, um, you could use that as well. So I'm putting the liquid glue on the big hearts because that will definitely hold it down. And then I'll just add a little bit sporadically in here. It dries clear, and like I said, most of this is going to get covered up. I saw one lady that she had a little bowl and she put liquid glue in the bowl and then she took a paintbrush and she painted the glue on. Of course, that would require that you clean the paintbrush afterwards and I could find myself not doing that and then being left with a hot mess afterwards. But it just goes to show there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? What's another term we can use besides skin a cat? <laughs> it sounds so awful. Okay, so just make sure that you fold it and you might wanna add a little bit of extra glue. I already have glue there, so I'm just gonna hold it down for a second. Okay, pretty good. Now, this is gonna fold like this, okay? So, I'm just gonna put adhesive on this half inch strip here and then fold it down just like that, okay? So, we're gonna take some, this time I'm just gonna use my Stamp and Seal Plus. This stuff works fantastic. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I can see the glue. No, I can't, okay. Okay, that's how it looks right now, okay? Folds up like that, okay? See? Then we're gonna add this layer next, and this is gonna go here, and then it's gonna attach up here, just like that. 
So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here, or not glue, I'm gonna use my stamp and seal. And I'm gonna center it on this part. Okay, making sure it's working. And then we're just gonna put adhesive on that part. And I'm gonna use my liquid glue this time because I don't want any of that Stampin' Seal Plus to exceed past where I want it. There's more than one way to cook a goose. That's, <laughs> that compares to there's more than one way to skin a cat. That's interesting. Yeah, that is another way. Okay, now, so here's what it looks like so far. Here's the side, here's the front. So now we're gonna add this layer of designer series paper. Oh, I forgot to add my hearts. Grr. Okay, so here we go. I'm cheating today. I'm using something I shouldn't because I can't find my take your pick tool thing thingy. So I'm using contraband, but if you can find your little glue thingy with your take your pick, use that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is add some hearts inside to the hearts. Um, so this one fits here, so I'm just gonna add some glue to it. I was supposed to do this before I added the red layer. Oh, and that's the wrong heart. Let's see, this one. And this one goes here. Front row, come back here. So add these hearts, like I said before you add this red layer. That will make it so much easier. sure that one fits it does so ideally you're gonna add some on the inside too since I did not I'm just gonna not do it now it's too difficult it take me it'll take me the next 15 minutes to get the hearts added on the inside so that's why we cut out the red I do wanna add one more to cover up that glue right there. Okay, now we're gonna add that paper. So I'm gonna turn it over and add some liquid glue. This is the Snail Mail Designer Series paper. Twelve six by six sheets of this will be included um, in the um, bingo packet, so you'll have plenty of paper. And we have an an added option of you can add more paper if you want. Okay, so now we're going to add some ribbon. So I'm going to take this polka dot ribbon. It's easier if you just keep this flat to tie your ribbon. good just want to slide this up just a tad now we're going to take our um, heart and we're going to add it 
just like that just with some liquid glue somebody asked the other day why did i switch to use in liquid glue i use the stamp and seal the stamp and seal plus and the liquid glue the liquid glue just really really works uh, if you live in an area that has high humidity it works really well i i mean this does too so yeah it works great now we're going to add the greeting so i'm going to add it down here and i'm going to use some mini uh dimensionals but before we add it let's go ahead and add a couple hearts so i'm using the resin hearts So one on the right side and one on the left. So we're going to put a mini dimensional on the back. So three of them. Uh, the cost of bingo is 35 and that includes the $20 swag bag. So it's it's definitely a good value because you're getting four make and takes. Um, four make and takes, a $20 swag bag, and then um, the bingo. I'm going to take some Wink of Stella and give her some... I want to say bling, but some people may not call this bling. I, I call it bling. It's a little shiny, but not a lot. And then she's going to go in there just like that. So I'm just going to use liquid glue. I'm not popping her up because the greeting is. So she's going to go there. And then we want to whoops hold on and we want to add another heart over here like she's looking at the heart okay so i'm going to get my liquid glue that's over here and let's start over Okay, so now we're done. So here's how it looks like that. She does stand. You just kind of have to work with uh, your layers to make it stand. But here's how it looks. And um, here's how it looks from the side, okay? What's it called? It is called a flat pop-up card. And then here is the first one I made. I didn't use the 6x6 Blushing Bride Designer Series paper. Let me flatten it so you can see. And I think that the contrast with the Designer Series paper, it looks better with the Designer Series paper. So same, same everything else, except I used the Designer Series paper for this one, okay? So you can mail this in an envelope because it's five and a half by four and a quarter and it folds flat. So a flat pop-up card. <laughs> oh yeah, so where do you put your greeting? On the back side. Yeah. Andy. I know that a glue, a glue, liquid glue, fits in there perfectly. Huh, that'd make a great gift, wouldn't it? Liquid glue. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a great week, rest of the week, and thank you so much. See you later.